day. Hi friends, I'm Bethy Ann Wagner and thank you for coming back to my channel. It has been a while and I am super excited to be filming YouTube videos again because I love doing it and I came home and Gunner happened to be taking a nap. I only leave him one day a week to go run errands, whatever I need to do. I have a little help here. So I came back, he was still asleep. I think he just woke up. Yeah, he just woke up. But we're gonna get through this video because I want to talk to you guys about natural lipsticks, which if you don't know already, I am you know, making the transition to natural products. I've kind of been, here he comes. I've been making that transition for a while, really, since I got pregnant with Harlow. And I think it's really important. If you stumbled upon this video, you probably think it's very important too. But if you stumbled upon this video because you follow me and you really don't care about natural products as much, I'm very invested in natural lipsticks because you know, I kiss the kids with them. You end up ingesting some of what's in your lipstick whenever you eat or talk. Um, it can get all over the place. And natural lipsticks are really important because traditional lipsticks, is it funny that I'm wearing lipstick? Natural lipstick is really important because traditional lipsticks have lead in them and hard metals that can lead to it's cancer. Pink. pink. It's pink, that's right. They can lead to stress and all sorts of issues that you just that's do right. not want to invite into your life. And these days, that's there are white. so many. White, white. That's white, yeah. And these days, there are so many lipsticks available that you absolutely do not need to buy unnatural, non-toxic lipsticks to quench your thirst. So today I wanna to share with you guys some of my absolute favorite shades of natural lipstick, including this one that I'm wearing right now. This is Cactus Bloom, and it is by 100% Pure. Okay. So let me show you swatches of all of these two. So Cactus Bloom. Cactus Bloom. What? Can you say Cactus Bloom? What's the matter? Cactus Bloom. I'm kind of figuring out this whole swatching thing still, but this is Cactus Bloom. This is the color that I was wearing in this picture that I'll show you here that I got a lot of comments on. Yes, it's pink. So this one is Perfect Day, it's by Ilia, and I believe that this is a, like a tinted moisturizer of theirs. I'm not 100% sure that it's a lipstick, but it gives really nice sheer coverage, as you can see, and is incredibly comfortable to wear. I've actually worn this shade before in one of the makeup tutorials that I did on natural beauty products. It was for Valentine's Day, so I'll link it below if you need some inspiration on a full look. Okay, what color should we do next? Let's just go through all the orangey reds, which I like love. So I have a lot right now. This so next one is by a brand called Axiology. This is a little bit different from the other ones that I showed you. It's a little bit more orange. It's almost like a more muted, deserty orange, if that's a thing. So again, this is Cactus Bloom at the top. Right here in the center is Perfect Day, and then Keen is the lowest one down. I like this one a lot because it's super easy to put on. You don't even need a liner. I don't typically wear a liner, but if you are a liner person, you want that perfect pout. You don't really need one with this guy. And I mean, hello, I just love the packaging. Okay, now we're gonna go for a bit more of a darker red and I'm gonna use an Ilia lip crayon for that. This crayon is called 99 Red Balloons. We do the liner first because you don't need a liner with this. So as you can tell, this one is a little bit more sheer and it's a more traditional red, would be really flattering on every skin tone. Let me show you, just for swatch purposes, how it compares to all of the others. You're gonna see it's really different. So this is 99 red balloons at the bottom. You guys gotta excuse my super crooked lines. I don't know why I can't draw straight lines, but that's just me. I have one more in the red family that I wanna show you real quick. That is this pot from RMS Beauty. This color is called Be Loved. And you can use this on your lips or your cheeks. I'm just gonna put it on my lips. So it looks kind of intimidating in this pot, but watch this, guys. You put it on 
and there's barely any color there. It's a very beautiful, natural looking red that you could wear for every day. It's not even really a red, it just looks red. So this is just one coat of this, and again, you're really gonna get a very natural look with this, but you could put on more than one coat and really build it like you can with all of these, but I'll show you what this one looks like when you build it out a bit. Voila, here it is with two coats. This is how it's going to stack up with all the others in the red family. So this is Beloved right here. So you guys have probably noticed that I am not huge on natural colored lipsticks because I feel like if you're going to take the time to put on lipstick, you might as well just go all out. So I really do gravitate toward reds, but I have one that falls into the neutral family that I just love and I have to share, and that's this guy. It's Funnel of Love, and it is you know, a little bit on the orange side, as you can see. Let me show you what it looks like on. This is it, it's a really natural, beachy shade, perfect for summer, and I will swatch it for you so you can see how it compares to all of the other colors. I really gotta get, see when I turn it like this, it's like my arm, I just won't show. I am drawing straight lines, you guys, I just don't have a very flexible arm. I have another that's by Ilia that is a natural looking shade, um, but this is gonna be a little bit more in the purple family. I really like it for every day, but like seasonally, it's the perfect fall color. So this is Arabian Nights. Let me show you what it looks like on. I just find this color to be so beautiful. I found out about the shade because Anna wore it in the second Fifty Shades of Grey and her lipstick game was killing it in that movie. I am obsessed with all of them, but I wound up purchasing this one because it's by Ilia, which is one of my favorite natural brands. This one is Arabian Nights. You can tell that all of the Ilia lipsticks like the ones in this tube are really quite sheer, so you can easily build them if you want a more dramatic look. While we're on the subject of purple, I have an Ilia crayon to show you. This is the color Dress You Up. This is another neutral shade, just like Arabian Nights, but a little bit more pinky, and I will swatch it for you so you can tell the difference between that one and Arabian Nights. This one, Dress You Up, is a little bit more nude. This next pink shade that I have for you is gonna blow you away. It's also in Ilia Crayon. I kind of die for them, I guess. This is way more of a punchy, dressy summer pink. Here's what it looks like compared to the last one. So the last one we had on was Dress You Up, and this one is Call Me. Okay, let's get a little bit more wild with our pinks now because this neutral stuff is just gonna be a little bit boring. This one is a lot more vibrant. It is by Terry. It has my favorite applicator. It's so stinking easy to use, like flawless application every time. I mean, look at that. So, so, so stinking easy to put on and I just love this color. And this color is number 23, Pink Pong. Okay guys, that's all of them. That's 10, that's not terrible. I kept it pretty reasonable for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will link all of these products below for you. I get most of mine from one particular site called Petite Vor, which I will link down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day.